discards will be my first public art installation. It's been funded quite significantly from Creative Victoria to the sum of $20,000. Corporal Discards, the concept, was born here at Collingwood Yards. It was about having the first large public art installation on this magnificent wall to celebrate the past, the present and the future. Corporal Discards is a really exciting opportunity but there has been setbacks and a key thing I've learned is you've got to have your partners on board and so with Corporal Discards the passion was about being site sensitive for Collingwood Yards. Corporal Discards is very much a site specific installation. A lot of time has gone up writing up site specific proposals including illustrative drawings, risk assessments, timelines, budgets, engineering, re-engineering, the list goes on. In early 2023, I heard about the Metro Tunnel Archaeological Discards and approached the Metro Tunnel, who then gifted me these discards, which are over 100 years old. I envisaged that the discards could be assembled and reconfigured with my stoneworks, incorporating the history and the new narrative of the work. Through this project, I'm really exploring and immersing myself in the in the in the literature, especially around uh, assemblage and the disability lens. It's interesting when you think of the art of assemblage and how some disabled people are entangled in multiple assemblages, like wheelchairs, like me with my assistant dog. The other really interesting point is that these Metro Tunnel archaeological discards, they were discarded by the initial person a hundred years ago and then today they've been discarded again because they're not museum worthy, they're thought to be low significant and that's what I'm really interested in in this project because at times people with a disability were thought to be of low significance. Our voice is discarded. We're not at the decision-making table because we're thought to be possibly low significant. The concept has been refined through getting to know the materials and actually what they can do. It's about immersion in the materiality and really seeing the material for what it is, um, really getting to know the material and, and seeing it and, and fooling around with it, creatively sort of playing with it in some way, having conversations, you know, what is the history of this, what is it? It's a hundred year old. What's the narrative? What's the story? And how does it talk to my stonework? Or does it talk? Does it intertwine? Having conversations with the material and just exploring, exploring new techniques, responding, really responding to the material. Because corporal discards, corporeal discards, is about immersion, it's about emotion and maybe it's not necessarily about the narrative after all. In recent months I've delved further into my research and explored concepts of corporeal discards. My work has undergone significant transformation the previous rigid initial three-dimensional structure has evolved into more abstract, uh, unrestricted assemblage. Currently, my focus lies on 
the actual process of the making and the materiality rather than solely on a fixed final product. It's the process.